Hey guys, here we are on location, and we've been tasked with taking this house that's been sitting on the market, fixing it up so they can sell it. Three days, $1,500, curb appeal. We took an unfinished fence, we gave it a coat of white paint, we made it into the all-American dream picket fence. We had a flagpole, so we threw up an American flag. This house is starting to sell itself right from the curb. Let me show you what we did inside. So here we are inside the house, declutter and depersonalize, and I'll say that over and over again. And then just created a moment, a focal moment. So when you come through the door, you get to see this nice floral. You can also see yourself in it because it's very neutral. It create a great first impression. Because we had such a tight budget, our first really hard decision was ripping up the dark carpet. We also made the call to get rid of the large oversized red sofa. We really need to take it out of this space in order to make it look bigger, look brighter, and feel really inviting, somewhere that anybody coming in off the street would feel like they wanted to move in. We painted the entire kitchen white, oftentimes the heart of the home. Very simple, just paint and a light fixture. And then we added one final detail, which was we changed the hardware on all the cabinets. So now all the knobs are a great stainless steel that actually picks up the very nice appliances that they have in the kitchen. In this dining room, we added a larger, more dramatic fixture to make the room actually look bigger. We took their antique sideboard and we made it into a little bit of a bar. When people come in, they can picture themselves entertaining. When you're staging a bathroom, do not be afraid to take everything out. Nothing sells more than clean, white, and bright. Nobody wants to see your old shampoo bottles. A few contemporary things like a little bit of floral with the sunburst mirror, and then we filled it full of clean, white, bright towels. It looks finished. The thing people really look at when thinking about buying a house is the master bedroom. So we really wanted to create something that was inviting. In this particular room, we did some pretty dramatic things and painted the entire space white, which really highlights the great architecture. We moved the furniture around. We also removed the very large, very intrusive ceiling fan that was actually taking up most of the room. When prospective buyers come through, they see a really finished room that they can envision, you know, unpacking and moving into. Thanks guys, and that is how you sell a house. Like usual, we're gonna have all kinds of extras on social media, so check out Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and come back next week, because we're gonna be doing something else that's equally crazy and equally fun.